Hello everyone at the Church of the Holy Spirit in Lake Forest. I'm coming to you today by video to say congratulations on having a sabbatical opportunity for your rector. Well deserved. I understand that he has never had a sabbatical in 20 years of ordained ministry. So I would say it's about time for him to go off on sabbatical. Uh, some of you may know uh, sabbaticals are a practice in uh, religious communities and church communities for the clergy and for leaders in the church and also in other disciplines of life, for example, academic life. Sabbaticals become a practice of those disciplines, those, those occupations where you are not simply doing a series of tasks, but you are asked to be creative, uh, to be visionary, to be imaginative. And in order to do that, you have to be refreshed from time to time. You can't just keep cranking out work, creativity, task, but need to step back and kind of allow things to sort of percolate and settle inside your head and your heart. And so I congratulate you for making this possible for Luke. And Luke, I congratulate you for taking this opportunity. Sounds like you're going to have a wonderful balance in your sabbatical. I always like to see some balance when people are away. You're having a little travel with your family in June. In July, you're going to VTS, Virginia Theological Seminary, and you're going to have some time there in that setting. And then to go to the Holy Land. I don't know if you have been before, Luke, but it's my belief that every ordained Christian minister of any tradition should regularly experience uh, the Holy Land as seen in all of its manifestations, its current circumstances, the political and sociological realities there, but also its historical circumstances, its way in which scripture comes alive when you're not only reading about the Sea of Tiberias, but you're right there looking at the Sea of Tiberias. So Luke, I send blessings to you and your family as you take this time apart to recharge, uh, to recover, to rest, to travel, to be exposed to new experiences. And people of the Church of the Holy Spirit, you're in great hands, you have a wonderful staff, everything will go well, but I want you to know that I regard this as a special time of blessing for you too. As often during a rector's sabbatical, uh, some leadership rises to the top. Uh, sometimes people discover that they can do things that they didn't feel like needed to do when there was a rector around. So it's an opportunity for you too, members of the congregation, to have some renewal and some learning. So blessings upon all of you as this sabbatical takes place. Safe travel, Luke and family, and be in touch, Holy Spirit Lake Forest, if we can be supportive while the sabbatical goes on. God bless.